Hey, it's Jay with Footsteps in the Past channel. Today I want to talk about the name brand and off brand 5CW5000 water chillers for your CO2 lasers. Is it worth getting the name brand or will the off brand work? Is it worth the price difference? Uh, let's get started. First, I'm going to fix my hair. Let's go. First off, I got the, uh, rabbit, the rabbit laser QX801290. It's an 80 watt C, uh, CO2 laser and I am running over to the side here. It's turned off. A S and A CW five thousand water chiller. This is an expensive water chiller, priced about six, seven, eight hundred dollars, depending on where you go. Uh, this was a two forty volt. I've actually been running this for about three years now. I know the outside is really dirty and nasty, but I keep the filters and the inside clean, and I try to change out that water about once a year. I run these lasers forty to fifty hours a week, all year long, during the during during our peak season. Uh, we can run this thing 60 70 hours a week and I've actually been running this particular one about three years and I've never had a problem so this name brand one checks out okay it's fine it, for seven eight hundred dollars I would buy it again now on another note I call this my BS CW 5000 I run it in my cheap eBay laser here and the reason why I call it BS is because they try to make it look like the S and A, but it's actually BH. But if you scroll, it kind of looks like BS. And I think BS CW 5000 makes more sense. I've actually been running this one for going on five years, and believe it or not, running another uh, 80 watt laser. I've run this one at least 30 to 40 hours a week, and running on four to five years, I've not had one single issue with this machine. So I get a thumbs up on this machine as well. Uh, to me, the BS, C, uh, the BS CW5000 is worth just as much as the S&A CW5000. On top of no name CW5000 on the other eBay machine I run here, I've been running this one for about a year and I have yet to have a problem with it. Uh, we've been running, and then we have one more. RCW, this is the DH name brand, CW5000, running another 80 watt machine. We have, we have four 80 watt lasers here at footstepsandpass.com. They're all running an individual all by themselves, different. I've had this one about a year now and I have not had an issue with it. So here at footstepsandpass.com we make uh, lights and signs and we run this thing. All four of these lasers are run at least 30 hours a week each. I've not had a single issue with any of my water chillers. So in my opinion, the $300, two, three, four hundred dollars more expense for the name brand just isn't worth it. I would stick with the off brands if I were to rebuy. As you can see, I have three off brands and one name brand. Uh, if you want to buy the other one, I'm sure the cheap ones probably don't have as good warranty experiences. But I have three cheapies, one name brand. Haven't had any issue with a single one of them, so warranties are not a problem in my eyes. So uh, again, I'll give you a shot of what we do here. This is an example of one sign that we've done, just a nice little light up neon sign. We cut most of this with our uh, laser cutout. I may do a video on how to do these uh, so you can start making your uh, company some money. Uh, we make simple wood signs here. So you can see at footstepsinthepast.com, we do some little laser engravings here, as well as we engrave rolling pins, cutting boards, we make cutting boards, picture frames. We do it all here in my 200, almost 200 year old barn. You can see here is a little addition we put off the back, but. I hope you learned something today uh, and maybe saved yourself some money when you're looking to buy your next water chiller. Make sure you get the, at least the 5000 series, one that actually chills with a refrigerator. Don't get the 3000 series if you're operating anything more than a 40 watt laser and you need to make sure you have refrigeration otherwise it's just pointless to even have a chiller. Just use that bucket with the little aquarium pump that they come with and you'll be all set. But if you're using at least a 40 watt or up I would definitely get the 5000, the CW5000 series to uh, keep that too cool and get it to last as long as possible. We get six months to a year out of our laser tubes, running them at least 30, 40 hours a week. Again, I'm Jay with footstepsinthepast.com. Uh, thanks for stopping. If you don't leave a thumbs up, if you learned something, possibly subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day.